but what is going on ladies and gentlemen it is your boy chad bring y'all another video man and in this video we gotta talk about atlanta having riots from antifa over what they call cop city um cop city is basically a project in atlanta where they said they're going to and don't mind my cat i'm so sorry let me move on. There's basically a project in Atlanta where they're letting police have training, try out tear gas, try out, you know, little explosives and stuff. And they're building this kind of like, I don't know what they're really building, maybe like an arena or so for them to, you know, do their thing. But yeah, people aren't seeming to like it. So they're rioting and protesting in Atlanta. And of course, excuse me, and of course, Antifa is there in Antifa. You know, they messed around and found out. But what I'm going to do here is um, we'll watch the video together, honestly, just because it's like we'll just watch the video. Um, so that way you guys can actually see what I am actually talking about. Um, but just to up front, you know, when 2021 or 2020, whenever the George Floyd stuff happened and all you heard around us was, you know, Defund the police. Do this to the police. I'm a, my dad was in law enforcement growing up all my life, right? And he's still in law enforcement now. I am not a person to say, defund the police. Do this, do that. I do think that police academies, police officers, they actually need more funding for better training and things like that. You know, as far as it goes for that military grade weaponry, if it isn't SWAT or if it isn't some type of special task force, I don't think the regular police need tanks and stuff like that, which I don't even think most of them have. If they do, I don't believe personally they need that. But I do think instead of defunding the police, we actually need to be funding them more. Another thing that I don't really understand is why do people scream out defund the police, but yet crime has gone up so much since then. Just think about it. Since the George Floyd incident, all the riots that we had, all the defund the police and, you know, Black Lives Matter marches and all this crime in cities like Chicago, New York, um, Atlanta, um, L.A. Crime has gone crazy to the point now where the prosecutors um aren't even like leaving people in jail. They're letting them out of jail and crime is just going crazy. And honestly, I'm not going to cap defunding the police. It seems like this is like a, if I was a white supremacist, right? One of the main things I would say needs to be done is for defunding of the police. Why? Because if crime is happening in marginalized communities and you defund the police, who does that affect the most? Case point, case closed. Like, it's going to affect marginalized community the most because they're the ones that are going to need the help. Now, you know, most people will say, but they're killing black people and they're doing... Okay, yes, there are injustices. Like, George Floyd was an injustice. You know, people could say, fentanyl and all this. It doesn't matter. We all saw the knee on the neck. Yes, it was an injustice. But... There are also certain circumstances where not everything is a police officer just killing somebody randomly. You know, if people would just take five seconds to look at everything through a lens of let's just look at the facts and what the police officer's job is and how he responded to the job. Everybody would see that not every case is about Black Lives Matter and police are bad, defund them. Like there are situations where there are actually justified reasons for what happened. Now, somebody dying, you know. They messed around and found out for real, for real. Like I, I'm, I feel bad they died, but I don't feel bad that the circumstances led up to that was their fault. There was no personal accountability. The police showed up. I mean, what do you expect to happen? If you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. But anyways, man, enough of me rambling about that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start this. Let me go ahead and get the recording out. All right. So turn up the volume. And as you see here, I'm on Twitter, and this is basically what Cop City is. So we'll just watch this, and I'll watch it alongside you guys, and then we'll just pause at a certain point and see what's happening. It is planning on building a $90 million training ground in the forest to practice urban warfare tactics. Activists are calling it Cop City and say it will harm black people in the environment. The facility would 
be a space where the police could practice tear gas, explosions, bomb testing, have a shooting range. Now, off route. This is an area where police can practice tear gas, bomb testing, explosions, have a shooting range. Now, why did people automatically turn this into a, this is going to hurt black people in the environment? I don't know. You know, a lot of stuff, you know, we could say that police are out to target black people. You know, we really could. But think about it. We're in Atlanta with this. I don't know about y'all, but Atlanta's black. Yeah, there are some white people in Atlanta. There are black people in Atlanta, but Atlanta is, to be honest, a black city. I would say that Atlanta is probably one of the blackest cities. You know what I'm talking about? And just automatically assume it's going to hurt black people is like, why? Like, the thing hasn't even been built yet. They just literally said the concept of, you know, we're building this for police. And people are automatically throwing all these assumptions in. And it's like, where did y'all get this from? But let's keep going. Strange practice high speed chases like they're literally going to build a mock city of Atlanta to practice different urban warfare tactics. The purpose of this project is to be able to better surveil, better suppress um, and better prevent liberation movements that directly address the exploitation that black and working class communities are feeling. So, again, she's jumped to conclusions where they're saying that this mock city is to address the exploitation that black and working class communities are feeling. Honestly, if like we're OK, people say defund the police. People say police aren't doing their jobs right. Then you try to do something like this and it's a problem. It's like what they're really telling you is we don't want police. That's in all honesty. I'd rather people just come out and say we don't want to defund the police. We just don't want the police. We want to police ourselves. That's never going to work. Anytime you have a group trying to police themselves, it is never going to work. If you guys have ever read about the Stanford prison experiment, right? You took all these people. You said half people are going to be prison, um, prison inmates. Half people are going to be the prison guards. You know what ended up happening? The people who are pretending to be prison guards actually started doing such crazy things to the prison inmates when it's just literally a test like this is all just an experiment they these weren't their real jobs these people weren't real prison inmates they turned around and used that power to go crazy on regular people Forest to and it's like like i don't i don't really understand where people are getting this directly from but let's address the exploitation that black and working class communities are feeling Atlanta actually increased its police budget after Black Lives Matter protests and a movement to defund the police. More than 70% of Atlantans disapprove of Cop City. In 2021... I mean, that like, it doesn't make sense. Defunding the police has never made sense. They need more funding to do a better job. They do. If you've ever been on a job, right? Okay, let's, let's use it for school. If you're in school... All your textbooks are torn up. You have no technology to be able to do homework assignments and things like that. And people say, defund them. Defund the schools. The school systems are ruining children. Defund the schools. Your kids will never learn. If you fund the schools more, you'll get better textbooks, better equipment, better technology. You can pay teachers more to get better teachers. Common sense. Atlanta's population was almost 50% black. 20% of Atlantans live in poverty. The Atlanta police have always been antagonistic towards poor and working class people. They have been active agents of gentrification. Cop City is proposed to be built on land that included a slave plantation and a prison farm. The construction would cut down part of the South River Forest, which helps prevent flooding and protects against extreme heat. Activists against Cop City are occupying the forest, building barricades, and protesting against corporate sponsors to stop construction. I don't know what standing in the forest is going to do. Like, honestly, if people want to build stuff in land where trees and stuff are, they're going to just build stuff in the land. Where people put in graffiti all over public buildings to say no cop city and stuff like that's not actually helping. It's kind of on the verge of climate activists taking buckets of paint and throwing them on very famous artworks and museums to protest climate change. How does that help you with climate change? How? Did you ride there to the protest on a bike? Like, like how is that climate change? How? Like, I don't understand. 
defund the police, abolish them, and invest in the things. Yep, see, exactly what I'm talking about. These people don't want to defund the police. They're real. Defund the police is a catchword to get your attention so you can get the people who like being involved in movements to be involved in a random movement. The real thing they want is right there. Abolish them. People don't. These people don't want the police. They want to police themselves. But you know who's going to be the first person to call the police when something's wrong, their life is in danger or their stuff's being broken into? She will. When the tough gets going, she will call the police. I 100% guarantee it. And if I'm wrong, maybe somebody in the comments below tell me if I'm lying. But she 100% will call the police. I have no questions about it. Me? I'm going to call the police too. Well, first off, if someone tries to break into my stuff, I, I have a gun. So you break in, you're going to go back to the creator kind of early. And me and the creator can talk about that you know, after the situation, but for the most part, I'm calling the police. Who else am I going to call? If I can't do it myself, or if I'm not there, who would I call my neighbor? I'm going to call these safe spaces. No, I'm going to call the police. Is that actually keep us safe? We've been ramping up our efforts to get folks in the community trained on things like restorative justice, on medic trainings, on de-escalation tactics, disaster relief, all the things that we know actually keep us safe when we're in crisis. And I don't know why my video keeps cutting out, but you know, maybe it was just time to end it there. But yeah, it's just like... It's like some I feel like some of the stuff we just see every day is like counterintuitive. Like people want to be a part of something so bad. Yeah, cops sitting there may be some things that we you know we could leave off the agenda list of stuff that they need to practice and train for. But for the most part, it's like it don't make sense. Like, okay, like I said, Antifa was here, excuse me, protesting Cop City. Let's look at what Antifa Antifa's doing. Let's go back. Uh, uh. They're setting you know, police cars on, on fire. fire. Yeah, we should back up. Back up, everybody. Were those shots, Were those shots from the car? That is actually kind of dangerous. It's a, it, it, it legit just, it doesn't make sense. And you know what's crazy? They all say... Antifa is a group that doesn't really exist. That's a white wing, white wing, white wing conspiracy theory. Every time they say that about Antifa, Antifa show their ass for real, for real. It's like every time they say Antifa's not real, Antifa says I'm gonna show y'all we real, and they show it every single time. Every single time they show it, and it's just like. These people just don't seem to understand that Antifa is a real thing. And all Antifa ever does is destroy stuff. They don't ever try to put stuff back together. They don't actually try to do these, make these safe spaces and make sure people are feeling good about what they're doing and rebuilding the impoverished, the impoverished and, you know, minority communities. No, Antifa just comes out and destroys stuff because... They're emotional idiots who are used for like, I, I think Antifa's a government psyop, to be honest with you. They call up Antifa and say, hey, we need y'all to go tear some stuff up so that way we can, you know, do X, Y, and Z agenda. And it's like, just make it make sense. Eventually, this stuff has got to start making sense. And like I said, the police, the police are out there. They're, you know, literally protecting the community from people destroying the city and people are still like, oh my goodness, this is so wrong. Like, look at this. Hold up. This is, this is Antifa. And Atlanta police putting a stop to the crime. So you can hide it? So you can hide it? Make it quick so you can hide it? We all got it on video. And this is just another example of, like I said, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. If you're going to come to Atlanta and try to destroy the city and stuff as Antifa, 
You think the police are not going to arrest you? You think they're just going to stand by and you think this is Portland? You can just destroy stuff and they'll say, oh, we're not going to do anything. No, that doesn't make sense. This is Atlanta. This is not Portland. Oh, my goodness. Let's see what the comments say. This makes no sense. Antifa is an anti-fascism. All these cops are minorities. It's doubtful they're fascists. So who are the protesters really? Exactly my point. It's like a government psyop. They say, defund the police. Nobody wants this. People are protesting. People are rioting over this, this cop city. I'm literally in the video. You can see he's black. He's black. He's black. I don't know about these two, but they're looking like they're, um, they may be white. They may be Hispanic. Look, look at this. He is black. He just may be light skinned. Black. Just <laughs> like what, what, what were people talking about? What are they talking about? Black. Black. <laughs> we, we've solved it. So what are they def like? Make it make sense. What are they de like? Why are we defunding? Why are we mad? Like if people always say all the time, you should have minorities patrolling and issuing, being policing minority communities. All these folks are black. Atlanta's black. They're defending Atlanta. And they're still talking some defund them and this is wrong. That make it make sense. Like I said before, defund the police is not defund the police. It's we don't want police. We don't want police. That's all it's ever been. We don't want police. This is so dumb. It doesn't even make sense. Law and order, peaceful protests, okay, but riots need to be shut down quick. I mean, last time I checked, they said in 2020 or 2021 during the George Floyd thing, when they had up riots, they said it was a peaceful protest and every city was literally burning. So I don't really understand what exactly, you know, they're talking about, but Every time I turn around, they say, defund the police. We're peacefully protesting, but Portland was in flames. Vehicle still uh, up in flames here over at the at Andrew Young and Peachtree. And if you take a look over here, if you pan over, I want to show you. This is what they were handing out at that protest. So it was a largely peaceful protest where they just wanted what they're calling justice uh, for to to uh, for to to get to to get. Uh, so sorry. Uh, he just a guy. Uh, and right now, uh, you'll see. Basically, they want uh, justice for him after the shooting that happened uh, when the Atlanta police and the different law enforcement agencies were raiding uh, the forest over there to try to uh, uh, basically clear out the forest after everything that was going on um, were all related to uh, 